In this section of the course, we will learn about advanced EQ techniques. EQ is a multi-purpose effect. It can reduce some noise, reduce harshness and boominess in the voice. EQ can sweeten a voice or can make the voice pleasing to listen to. Discussing all these things in detail is out of the scope of this course. It would take a separate course to explain all these things on a granular level. However, in this course, I will show you some paths to get into that professional level of EQ. If you have watched my YouTube videos or taken the Audacity course for beginners, this curve will look familiar to you. I always advise to have this below 80 Hz cut or roll off because it can take down some low frequency noises. It can also be called a high pass filter. A high pass filter allows the high frequency to pass. With this graph, I allowed frequencies higher than 80 Hz to pass. Frequencies higher than a certain frequency are allowed to pass, so it is called a high pass filter. The high pass filter is a common term in audio editing, and you should be familiar with this term. You may already know you can adjust this graph. Adjusting this graph to the proper frequency area is the key to finding the best EQ for a voice. Because different voices need adjustments in different frequency areas. There is no certain fixed rule about this. You have to adjust the frequency, and have to listen to it as you adjust the frequencies. The built-in effects of Audacity EQ lack this feature. You have to know precisely which frequencies you want to alter. If you already know about those, Audacity EQ effects will give you the desired outcome. I will give you a brief idea about these effects, and you will know how far you can go with these. You already know about the filter curve EQ, and it is good enough to produce other effects in the group. Let me explain what I mean. If you want a high-pass filter, you will get a dedicated effect for that. It is a simple configuration box, and you can specify from which frequencies you want to apply a high pass. If you set a higher roll-off value, you will have a steeper cut in the lower frequencies. The graph you saw earlier can be represented by this setting in the high-pass filter. Frequencies below 80 Hz will be cut off, and the roll-off per octave will be 24 dB. I will open the filter curve again to show you the similarity. You can see the cutoff is below 80 Hz, and the roll-off sets the slope of this line. If I set a lower value for roll-off, the cutoff line would look like this. All this talk means the high-pass filter is just a way to configure this graph by inputting numbers. The opposite of a high-pass filter is a low-pass filter. Let me show you how a low-pass filter looks in the graph. I will flatten the line. If I want a low-pass filter from 2000 Hz, it will be something like this. The frequencies above 2000 Hz are cut. In other words, the frequency lower than 2000 Hz is passed through this filter. I can adjust the cutting point from different frequencies. So it would be a low pass filter on that frequency. Currently, it is a low pass filter at 1000 Hz. I hope you get the idea of the low pass and high pass filters. The more the roll off, the steeper the line will be. The high pass and low pass filters can help to add some special effects to the voice. You should try these filters and listen to the audio. Then you will understand how a frequency range sounds. If you visit the low pass effects configuration, you will see it is similar to the high pass filter. To use these effects properly, you have to know what it does. In the newer versions of Audacity, a new filter is introduced called the shelf filter. You can choose which type of shelf you want to use, high or low. However, from the configuration, you cannot understand what a shelf filter does. I will discuss this as we go deeper into the equalization process. If you think about which EQ filter to use in Audacity, you should only rely on filter curve EQ. For example, the bass and treble filter has a separate configuration. You can also achieve this easily in filter curve EQ if needed. For voice editing, a generic configuration on bass and treble is not recommended. So this effect is not that useful for voice editing. The graphic EQ is similar to the filter curve EQ. Once again, whatever you can do with graphic EQ, you can also do that with filter curve EQ. Graphic EQ allows to boost or cut a single frequency precisely. It mimics the old day analog equalizer. In the digital audio editing world, the parametric equalizer is the ultimate EQ effect. Filter curve EQ is the closest to the parametric equalizer in Audacity. Let me show you what a true parametric equalizer looks like. It is a third-party plugin, and I will access it as a real-time effect. It is FabFilter Pro Q3, and it is a paid software. However, one month of free trial is available, and you can use it to learn concepts of EQ. I will play and adjust. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean 
You can see how I can listen to the audio live and adjust the frequency at the same time. It helps to find problematic frequency areas to reduce harshness or resonances. You can understand which area to boost or cut for a better sound. With Audacity, you have to know that without listening while adjusting. You have to know exactly where to cut and boost. FabFilter has many advanced features, but we are not going in that direction. The key point is to find out the proper EQ using something like FabFilter and replicate that graph in Audacity. I will show you some free options for third-party plugins down the road. For now, you should download the free trial of FabFilter and try it out. It will give you huge confidence in your learning. You are watching a preview video of my advanced Audacity course. If you want to access the full course, you can get it from this Buy Me A Coffee page. I have made a bundle offer of Advanced Audacity and Beginner's Audacity course. If you want to learn Audacity step by step, the Audacity Beginner's course is for you. If you already know some Audacity, Advanced Audacity will give you the necessary skills for professional voice editing. I will link the bundle offer in the description. You can also purchase the course separately if you want. I would recommend you to check the course curriculum and have the things you are looking for. If you have any queries, please feel free to send me an email.